Hello YouTube. Um, as you can see, I've made quite a lot of changes to the Steel Wolf, which I am now considering calling it the Rocket Wolf. And uh, yeah, so what a difference the jetpack on the Wolf makes um, from like my first Wolf uh, mech, my first ever mech, really that I've made, um, had a totally different jetpack which you've seen in a previous video. I'll show it after, but like, what a difference. This thing looks absolutely awesome. I'm super proud of how the jetpack turned out. I'm not so sure about the body yet because it's not quite finished. Um, yeah, so I've ex extended this body part out just a little bit. And uh, so this video is just gonna be a little checkup on all the things and see if it still works. Um, here I have the switches for, okay, we have the razor blades are still working, which is great. The, the changing of lights is great. We have the, yep, the, the tail's defense is still going good. I'm going to turn that off because it's kind of a bit annoying. So that's the first check. All good. Next we have this one here, we'll see if it still works fine. Okay, it moves down perfectly into place, rotates up fine, everything works. We have these ones that need to be checked. Oh, what? Whoops. That's, that's a bit uh, embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, let's just escape from here. Just oh my god, hang in there, guys. I'm just, just give me a second. <laughs> oh no. Okay, these ones. Let's see if they still work. Okay, they move down. Rotation's good. Looks good. Um, next we have this switch. Oh yeah, the uh, screen is fine. Apparently, they uh, went right through this thing. Does it even have? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, so that's just for show, I guess. Um, so that's cool. Let's see. Um, this third door doesn't have a button anymore because it's all controlled with the seat. So I can rotate the door upwards and shoot out the turrets with the with the seat. But uh oh wait, shoot one sec. Okay, those are still good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like our rotating doors are still working fine. Okay. What about this side? Yeah, okay. Still good. And I've added um, these little sword things, just because I thought they'd look really, really cool. Which they definitely do, I'm really proud of them. Um, we have dynamite. As you can see, there's a little bit of dynamite on both sides, and it's not supposed to go that way. Whoops. That's fine, though. Uh, what about the, this one? Right. And we have the missiles, or the missile show, yep. Randomized missile show, yep, there we go. And, uh, what else do we have? Right, this door thingy. Oh, whoa, that, that's a big splatter. Uh, it's not supposed to happen. It's supposed to be a little bit slower than that, but still good. Yep, yeah, looking great. Okay. I'm just gonna delete this thing because it might cause a little bit of lag. Just while the videos get here and stuff. Uh, what happened here? Whoops. Looks like this thing, this little lever here activated that one. That's not good. 
Okay, I'll have to fix that. It's a bit of a pain. Um, right, I have these things here. In these, I finally keybinded them to these switches. This is the primary switch, which would activate these two, which are red thrusters. And this last one activates white thrusters, because I don't have enough uh, red thrusters to do all of them. There's one last thing to show, I think. Uh, it's the turrets. And if I were to press Z, as you can see, they're spinning. Well, one of them is. And this thing is blocking it. Shoot, one sec. Uh, yeah, just let them shoot through it. Action, action scene. Uh, now we're going back here. Right. Okay. Okay. So this is how they're supposed to be. If I press this, yeah, they should be. They're put in a way that if one of them is obstructed by my own mech, at least the other one would be able to shoot them. Like the enemy, I mean. Looks like one of the- oh no, that's the, uh, the torches, right, okay. So yeah, we got a cool turret uh, that does like 100 cannon shots per, per shot. And then if I press control, this little thing will retract. And then Z, and then control again. Okay. So that's working fine. It's all good. And uh yeah, I think that's that's all my mech. That's all it can do. It's pretty strong so far. It's got good good arsenal of weapons. I plan to add a little thingy on the ears that can shoot missiles just because I can. I'm planning on adding uh this little door here. You can't tell it's a door because it's invisible. But I got two little servos here and here, right there, and uh, they're gonna rotate uh, inwards. So like, this door is gonna come here. You can see that rotation, like something like that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna have a cannon inside this thing that's gonna push out like a big piston thingy. Here, I'll show you how it's gonna be. So it's just gonna do, I'm just gonna do this, and then in between each of these there will be like a bit of dynamite. And of course they'll be faster than they are right now because they're kind of slow. And yeah, I'll have like a cannon that can basically just attack and stuff. It's gonna be cool, you'll see. I can't tell what's going on. Okay, so that's all of them. Uh, all the things I'm planning on doing. Or maybe even, uh, like I'm thinking of putting paws that have thrusters that just rotate upwards, and then you're just, just going to activate, and they're going to thrust the mech forwards because like the paws are going to be sort of, you know, you get the idea. Um, and the legs will be able to move and stuff. The head will be able to rotate with wheels so that I can shoot the cannon and like direct where it is using the head. I'll use like I, J, K, and L, just like WASD, but with the head to rotate it and stuff. Uh, it's also what is rotating the tail, those keybinds. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, for now I'll just I'll just use the same controls for the head as I am for the tail. If there were like more buttons and stuff that I could just like connect to my computer and also activate like uh, the attacks, I would like just have it right next to me so I can just press a button on my right or on my left or whatever and just activate like an attack. But you know, I, I don't have that so yeah, so I guess the keyboard will do. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's all the stuff I want to show you for this video. 
like and subscribe. I hope uh, I hope you guys are gonna keep watching my videos. So please hit the notification bell. Um, subscribing and liking helps me out a ton. Uh, I'd like to have a budget for getting a better computer so I can make better videos for you guys. Because sadly, <laughs> a school laptop won't do very well for the future. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.